Hi there, and today I am going to be performing an unboxing and review of the new Corsair H80 liquid CPU cooler. As I already own the H70, I'm also going to be having a look at the differences with the new H80 and how the product has evolved over time. So let's start off by taking a look at the H80. Now, the first thing that strikes you about the new cooler as it's got this square CPU seat as opposed to the old twist on design. Um, I'm going to discuss that in a moment. The other notable point is that you now have a fan speed dial so that you can have low fan speed and a quiet system or you can increase the fan speed uh, if you want to overclock but it gives you that option. The H80 as you'd expect is supported by all the major Intel chipsets including 1155 which I use and 1366 which I also use. It also supports the AMD so you've got AM2 and AM3. Here is a, a shot of the old Corsair H70. We can see the twist on cap um, which to be truthful I never particularly got on with. I love the results of the Corsair H70 and the temperatures it provided but I was never a huge fan of this twist on cap. Now here we can see me unboxing the new H80 and after we take off the foam wrapper we can see it all nicely laid out inside and where I'm about to have a look at the CPU seat um, and we can see there that it's it's got this nice square design now. So let's have a little bit of a closer look at the radiator that is approximately the same size as the Corsair H70. You have the uh, four screw holes there for the 120 millimeter fan and let's move on now to the CPU seat itself we can have a little look at the um, fan dial there so going from very low to particularly high now another thing I noticed is um, we've got something it looks like a power connector there um, I'll have to actually look into what that is. Um, if you know, please leave a comment, um, but I'm sure I'll work it out shortly. Now here's the CPU seat itself. We can see that it's supplied with a small amount of coolant, uh, but in my personal experience I'd probably add a little bit more. The old H70 only came with a fan connector, um, but the new one also comes with a Molex connector. Um, so you've got this joint power system uh, just in case you didn't have any uh, spare fan heads left on your board. Now other equipment that also comes is the two Corsair 120mm fans which can be connected in the push-pull configuration to give maximum cooling to your CPU cooler. Now in my next video I'm going to be actually connecting this to uh, my new Asus uh, Gene Micro ATX board uh, that I'm going to be receiving shortly but um, just to have a little bit of a qu quick look at what the board can achieve um, looking at the back of the box now what strikes me about these temperatures is that the H80 is fairly close to the H100 which sports two radiators so it appears like it's going to be a very very effective cooler um, so what are my overall impressions of this cooler? Well, one of my biggest gripes about the H70 was this twist on CPU cooler. That has now gone. Uh, it's been replaced with uh, this square cooler. And the other big uh, development for me has been this CPU fan control. And I think it's great that the user can now control how loud they want the fans depending on the amount of overclocking that they're going to do um, so this is Mr. Thank You I uh, hope you've enjoyed my short run through of the H80 thank you very much for watching and goodbye and maybe good night.